everyone, welcome back to Ground Zero. Hey Kenneth, yeah. have you ever been in a tiff with another road user? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, actually just like last week, there was this guy who was uh, coming up from behind me, he was tailgating and he was honking me because he felt I was going a little bit slow around the corner. So I just I forced myself to count the 10, take it slow and try not to get pissed off. Yeah, try right. not to lean out the window and say something I'll regret. Okay, it's good that you had this good sense to keep calm and drive along. <laughs> the consequences otherwise could have been dire. Yeah, exactly. Look at just what happened to this Singaporean driver, Mr. Pham, in this most recent case of road bullying that took place in Malaysia on July 31st. Mr. Farm claims that the Malaysian driver, seen wearing black in the photos, cut into his lane abruptly, causing him to jam his brakes and honk at the driver. Mr. Farm then pulled up alongside his car, but the Malaysian driver ignored him. So when both cars came to the traffic light, Mr. Farm got out of his car with his wife to confront the Malaysian driver. The Malaysian driver also got out of his car holding a metal rod, which was later identified to be a wheel lock. The Malaysian then started hitting Mr. Farm on his waist and left arm with the wheel lock, while his wife and year-old daughter watched in horror. The incident was recorded on Mr. Farm's dashboard video camera, and the footage has been handed to the Malaysian police. Now Stomper neighbourly hate regrets this incident. He says, Malaysia and Singapore are just minutes away from each other, and so much of our culture and living styles are similar. Which is why I don't understand where this animosity from Malaysian drivers towards Singaporeans is coming from. Are Malaysian drivers specifically targeting Singaporean drivers, or are they suffering from anger management issues in general? <laughs> Aside from the road bullies, there's also road bandits to contend with. I used to love taking trips up to Malaysia for the food and the scenery, but now I feel like I need to drive an armoured car across the causeway to be safe. <laughs> That'll be quite a sight, actually. Well, some netizens sympathise with Mr. Farm's plight. Most of them were of the opinion that he got what he deserved the moment he stepped out of his car, however. Stomper Leo Billy scolded, You should thank God as you came that you've managed to come home in a single piece. Don't be Rambo in someone else's country. Stomper Holala007 agreed, Have some thought for your wife and daughter before you act like a hero next time. Stomper Third Timer expressed disgust at the idea of grown men fighting on the side of the road, <laughs> said the Stomper. Can never understand drivers who always feel it is necessary to take it outside after some minor traffic confrontation. You drive to get from one place to another, someone cuts in front of you, you haunt, you point your middle finger maybe, you <laughs> shout your mouth off or whatever, but when the lights go green, you go off. What do you think was going to happen when you got out of your car? Did you, did you expect the other party to be so terrified that he would kowtow, kneel down and kiss your feet for forgiveness? No! You want to get out of your car, you expect to fight. You lose, so what do you expect? Sympathy? But incidents of road bullying across the causeway are not exactly rare. One night in April, Stomper Angry's car was badly smashed by a group of men in Johor Bahru, all because he failed to give way to a Malaysian registered car that emerged from a small lane. According to the Stomper, his car was stopped by a man, while the passengers in the Malaysian car rushed out to his door and smashed the window with their fists. One man even wielded a steering wheel lock. A stomper quickly drove off, but more people began chasing after his car. He was chased by two Malaysian cars and at least 10 motorcycles. Numerous helmets were thrown at his car and there were even attempts by the two cars to corner him. The attack happened all the way from Stulang Lao to the JB Customs. The stomper drove into the customs to seek protection from the police, but he was shocked when the attackers followed him all the way into customs and carried on smashing his car. A few police officers helped the stomper and his two friends out of the car, but after they got out, the attackers did not stop and even jumped onto the roof of his car. Well, according to the stomper, about 20 men, 20 men attacked his car that night. He found out later from the Malaysian police that only nine of them were actually arrested and among them were three 15-year-old minors. Stomper Justice Bao Nine says, Road bullies on Malaysian roads are nothing new. They seem to take their law into their own hands. I think one reason why Johorians hate Singaporeans so much is that they perceive we are the cause of food and consumer price product price increases in JB. They also envy us because of our much greater purchasing power. So it is natural that they will whack us at the first opportunity. Next, Stomper Iron Man shared this video clip of a fight after an apparently minor accident in Kuala Lumpur. See how this bully chased the other guy into oncoming traffic and never relented once in his attacks, the stopper commented. Both of them could well have been killed by oncoming traffic. How stupid to risk life and limb over an accident in which no one was hurt. Next time, don't lose your head when driving in KL, he warned. You never know who exactly you're dealing with. The road bully might even have a gun. Of course, there are always two sides to every quarrel, with each side believing him or herself to be in the right. So as Stomper Blurry Navy put it, the bottom line to all these stories is that drivers must always be gracious when driving. Perhaps 
you can perhaps you also always cut people's lane in Singapore, but things <laughs> don't get lucky for you in Malaysia. Please treat this as a learning lesson. Exactly. In our next clip, we bring you the dangerous encounters of a slightly different nature. Stay with us.